any mm -hmm. amount of sun that will burn you is too much. And you can get that amount of sun in a surprisingly short amount of time. Mm -hmm. So if you, again, if you're light skinned and you're out during the midday or you know the strong part of the day for the sun, 10 minutes, five minutes, 15 minutes, it's not hours. You could burn it in a very short amount of time. So you mm -hmm. really have to be careful. And many skin cancers, mm -hmm. the cumulative sun exposure is important, but strong intermittent sun exposure is a very large risk factor, particularly for melanoma. So those strong sunburns that you get when you're young, they could come back, they will come back to bite you years, decades later. The skin is sometimes like an ex girlfriend, they never forget. Uh, so this, the skin never forgets. I like that. The skin never forgets. So every yes. injury, every harm, every insult is going to bring it up 20 years later. Yeah. Is that uh, right? You yeah. can get the cancer appearing many years after the insult. Yes. So areas that you've had bad burns, years later, you might suddenly get a lot of, you know, these are benign, but like seborrheic keratoses. They're a benign lesion, right. also sometimes linked to sun exposure. It could bring out moles. And there's a, a somewhat simplified version of how you get skin cancer or cancer in general called mm. the two-hit hypothesis, mm -hmm. which uh, I think many you know, physicians are familiar with, which basically is that you know, we don't walk around all getting cancer all the time because there's a lot of checks and balances mm -hmm. and it requires more than one problem, more than one insult in order to escape the checks and balances. And sometimes that sun exposure, that strong sunburn is enough to give you that one hit and now you're statistically set up that somewhere down the road something else goes wrong in that field that's been impacted. Mm -hmm. 